Also, we've been telling you if you're trying to buy tickets to the Super Bowl, just be careful. Scammers, of course, trying to take advantage of some unsuspecting fans. Yeah, I want to take advantage of your excitement. This morning, the Hillsborough County State Attorney's Office is breaking down the most common type of Super Bowl scams and how they're targeting offenders. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Mazzella has what you need to know to avoid becoming a victim. The Hillsborough County State Attorney's Office says the most common types of Super Bowl scams often involve tickets. They say people often lose thousands upon thousands of dollars and miss the big game. In 2019, in connection with the Atlanta Super Bowl, a man got over a million dollars for tickets that he never delivered. He even scammed his own mother. And with so many parties and VIP experiences in town, State Attorney Andrew Warren says to make sure that you know exactly who you're buying any event tickets from. Additionally, if you're thinking about renting out your home to make some extra cash, Warren says research anyone who offers to help you with that process and don't give them any money up front. Warren's office is now prosecuting anyone they believe is trying to take advantage of fans and the consequences can be severe. But he also tells us that prevention is a big part of staying safe. Identifying the perpetrators can be hard and getting your money back is even harder. That's why making sure people understand the red flags to avoid becoming scammed in the first place is so important. We have information on all of these tips plus a link to the official NFL ticket site on abcactionnews.com. Just click on Good Morning Tampa Bay. In Tampa, I'm Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.